whatever. I mean, every, his everything got fixed. I, not even fixed, just better. Uh, and uh, Ethan Foe kind of just plays whatever he wants. I mean, he played Krom to beat, uh, what's his face, Beery? Yeah, the... Uh, the, he's been, I mean, he's been on a tear lately with Rob, dude. He beat him pretty handily game three. Uh, yeah, and I was convinced. Uh, Beery was definitely not ready for that. He told me uh, when I talked to him, he's like, I, I just don't want to play that matchup. Krom versus Rob? Mm -hmm. He Seems, doesn't like it. Yeah, I mean, Krom in a lot of matchups can be pretty darn rough if you're not prepared for him. Krom's just so aggressive. And now you have such a, just a, a lot more of like a, just sort of like a slow, technical, uh, punishing character that is Wolf. Just most of the time, Wolf gets a lot of his uh, work done when someone starts making mistakes. Problem is, Ned really doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes. Yeah, PGR Ned though, specifically PGR Ned. Yeah. Because there's Ned and then there's PGR Ned. Exactly, and PGR Ned makes less mistakes than regular Ned. Oh, hold on a second. Big boy Mick coming downtown. No, it's AJ. AJ coming downtown. All right, and now I'm here. Cool. There he is. But yeah, no, PGR Ned's just a different person. <laughs> yeah. He, he becomes like an evolution. I think that was Nair. I, I looked like last second I saw his foot sticking out. It might have been back here. I think it was Nair, though. It doesn't I don't matter. Game. That evens Ow. up pretty quickly. Um, this would be a really good win for Ethan Foe. Ethan Foe always does relatively well at tournaments, but sometimes can be a little inconsistent at a, at a top level. Um, ever since Olimar sort of got just pooped on by Sakurai, dude. Yeah, he, he's been sort of floundering a little bit, but he's really found his place now with a couple of different characters that he uses in key situations. Yes. Sorry, I was just making sure everything was sounding great. That's fine. Who just said that? Who just I also can't. Who, who was... Who was... I, I can barely hear game audio. Can you? Yeah, that's weird. Uh, that... <laughs> Go for it, Mike. Go for it, Mike. I want to fix it. Game Either audio. Way, uh, once again, Ned... Mm -hmm. Able to take the lead over. No, Ethan I can't hear Foe, it at all. But at a pretty good percentage, uh, Ethan Foe has Ned's in there right now. Seeing red, 107, not too bad. Ned does have the limit charged up. There you go. Now now I, I hear it. Now I can hear it. It's muted. Now I need to turn it down a little bit more. All right, cool. All righty. Uh, there's that classic Pokemon diamond. Ooh, that's too loud now. Low. Lower it a little bit, Tom. But yeah, sorry, I had it low on my end. They're good. Uh, Wait, oh, yeah. So what's going on right now? Well, uh, Ned was able to take the, the stock lead, but That's Ethan Foe already long. had him sitting at a pretty decent percent. Right now, it's just trying to find the kill. That can end up being the problem, though, with Wolf, as I've said many, many times. Even though this character has a lot of kill power, he doesn't know what to do with it sometimes. All right. He just can't find the kill. Mm. Why do I sound like that? Sorry, Cross I'm getting literally finicky with my own my stream right now. That's all right. And he's dead. Cross Slash into that Nair is going to go ahead and seal the first game. This is really interesting because Ethan Foe is a really patient player. Very, very patient player. Yep. And uh, going against Ned, who, who exploits a lot of just mistakes and options. Yeah. I wonder how Ethan Foe is going to present himself. I mean, Ned's just like, he's top player. Yeah. That's all there is to it. He makes less mistakes than normal and punishes more mistakes than normal. Mm -hmm. um, but the Child Prodigy is really, I think there's going to be a good match. If he goes Cloud, he has to go Cloud. Yeah. I think this is going to be a good, good match for Ethan Foe because... Uh, He's just going to become super aggressive against Cloud's aerials since Krom has the better different data in the air. He could just abuse it. Yeah. Well, we'll see how that goes. Has, has Ned won anything besides Cloud today? No, I think he just went mostly Cloud today. He really wants that character to work. Yeah, at, at least every time he's been on stream, I've only seen Cloud. It could be completely different off stream. I don't know, he's making Cloud work. Cloud seems to be genuinely, like, pretty, pretty viable again. Yeah, I know we were talking about his buffs, and, like, from from what it looked like, it makes the biggest difference, but even then, like, Ned plays PT, and, like, he also plays Joker, and those two are, like, some of the best characters in the game. Why why play this character? What, what does he believe that this character has that they don't? Well, so, I think the main thing has to be, like, if you chose your character to play in Smash 4, you chose him for... For a pretty good reason. Mm -hmm. It felt good mechanically, and I mean, like, I, I mean, let's go from like Brawl to Smash Four, right? Brawl to Smash Four was like a trip. Those yeah, were, like, it was so different. Completely different games. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. The way you play Ultimate and Smash Four is very different. But these games feel a lot more like each other than like Melee to Brawl. Oh yeah, like, there's there's Smash a big 4. there's a big shift. So there's still a lot of like 
that care that people miss from their old main that they're still trying to like look for and that's why a lot of people who still play Bayonetta and Smash 4 still play Bayonetta. Yeah. Because they she has like that sort of feel but not sort of quite so I mean Ned has so much experience with Cloud that he, I, he's probably been wanting to play Cloud if he was like really solid since Ultimate came out. That's fair. Wasn't good enough. Played trainer for a while. Never felt quite right but did well with him and now he's and now Cloud's sort of back. Yeah and no, I remember uh, New Game Plus going back to the way way when the game was originally released. Uh, I talked to Ned, I'm like, so you're gonna be playing Cloud? He's like, nah, Cloud sucks, dude. <laughs> yeah, Cloud, dude, he was awful. It he was is. just like this character, like the, the... Oh, he's dead. Yo, dude, that, that was an snipe. amazing snipe. But yeah, like, a lot of the the DLC characters from Smash 4 just got nerfed hard. Yeah. Like, I don't know where. Like, yeah, they made them amazing and s'more, but like, did you have to nerf them that hard They really game? wanted to make sure Bayonetta and Cloud weren't a problem anymore. Well, and they I also nerfed Corrin, though. Corrin got the boot, dude. Corrin got absolutely wally whopped by soccer. No reason. For no reason. For, yeah, yeah. They, they're just, they just don't exist in this game. How yeah. many Corrin players do you know? Cosmos plays there once in a while. Who? Cosmos plays there once in a while. The correct answer was don't answer. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. Ethan no, might be dead here. I got confused by that hitbox. Yeah. He, he was a little, a little late. That's why he went up. Got the precipice of that. He would have been. Good Super dead though. For those, yeah. Those animals below. Did you ever notice? <laughs> oh, he's dead. I'll smash. Ned, have you noticed when Ned plays all his cloud matches, most of the stocks have been taken away from up smash? It's it's just a really good sort of like fast 